Hey, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. I'm on duty, so if I get a call, I got a jam, but we're going to talk about a new bank. I got an email from a subscriber, and this seems to be another bank with problems. I'm going to read the email first, and then we're going to go into the news, okay? Now, this may not be your bank, but if it is your bank, it's called Green Dot Bank. Let me know down below, but it's important, even if it's not your bank, to understand that there are banks having big problems, and we want to warn people about that, all right? Because you're not going to see this in the news. So uh, we're going to say this is from Jay, so I'm not given first or last name. Hey, Ninja, I was wondering if you are aware of what is going on with Green Dot Bank. I have a card because my roommate is a truck driver, and it's convenient for him to send cash for bills to, uh, to me since there is a Walmart pretty much everywhere. I have had the card for quite a while and never had any issues until now. I went online to pay bills and the card kept getting declined. I double checked the balance and there were plenty of funds in the account. I decided to try and call them. Let me stop real quick here. As, uh, type one if you have seen that the nation is having a cell phone outage right now. The reason why I say that is because there is at any time um, at any point of the day, people are trying to buy and sell things, do commerce with the internet, right? Instead of going down to a branch and getting physical cash, they're trying to use a cell phone, tap to pay, their credit cards, you know. There can be an outage like that that shuts the system down and then gets worse when people are trying to access their funds. Again, one more reason why you should have multiple banks, banks that you could actually go to and get money and have a little cash set off to the side in a safe place too. If something happens like that, some outage happens all day or a couple days, you still have money to go to the store, get something, buy gas, things like that. Sorry, I digress, but I just think it's on, the, on what's going on right now in the nation, a nationwide cell phone outage. And it doesn't mean it affects everybody's cell phone, but uh, it's getting hit. Everyone's from data to, to actually texting and actually talking is getting hit right now. It's being affected. Just really interesting across multiple carriers. So this person's having problems with these cards getting declined. I tried to call them. In the past, it has been easy to get someone on the phone. They have removed the option to speak with a real person. And after two hours of trying backdoor access through other options, finally got to a live person. I told her the problems I was having, and she said she couldn't help, but could only offer up, uh, offer to set up an appointment to speak with a customer service rep. I suspect that call will not come. I then went online to see if other people are having issues. Apparently, this has been going on for a month. People are being locked out of accounts and in some cases having their balances disappear. There are people ranting about it on TikTok and other forums. The company keeps claiming maintenance or glitches, but this doesn't feel right. Maybe you can uncover some more information. Thank you for all you can do. Well, thank you so much for the uh, email. So now let's dive into the stories that I found. So first thing I did a Google on Green Dot Bank News. And the first thing uh, is uh, Google popped up with is, is Green Dot Bank trustworthy? I'm like, well, I got to go down this aisle. So I clicked it. It says most trustworthy, quote unquote, which it says on its website. Green Dot Bank notes it was named one of Newsweek's most trustworthy companies in America for 2023. And this is just a couple of days ago this came out. Russet Valve, thank you for the super chat. So let's dive into what's going on with Green Dot Bank. And oh, by the way, uh, hashtag Green Dot if, this, uh, if you have an account with Green Dot. And let me know if you've had problems with them. So here we go. This is out of NBCnews.com. It says more Green Dot Bank customers say they can't access their funds, causing financial distress. It says here, like many customers of Green Dot Bank, Texas resident Sheldon Ransom first encountered the online banking company through TurboTax in the form of a stimulus check. Though perhaps not a household name, Green Dot, headquarters in Austin, Texas, with a Utah-based bank regulated by the Federal Reserve, thanks, Rhett, for the super chat, has been used by millions of Americans like Ransom, who said he was never a big banking person and used to carry cash, but suddenly found an easy way to receive uh, basic banking services through the company. Bet you he's probably weren't hoping right, or wishing right now he was holding cash. Green Dot, which also operates under uh, the, another bank, uh, GoTo Bank, specializes in prepaid debit cards and digital accounts that can be set up for different deposit paychecks and to pay bills online. The company has touted itself and its app as the ultimate mobile bank for Americans of Americans living paycheck to paycheck. Wasn't that nice? 
They're the ultimate bank for broke people. And now they're causing broke people to be even more broke because they can't access the little money they have in there. And I'm not making fun. I think this is completely uh, horrible. And that's why I've been reporting on this kind of stuff for months and months and months and warning people about this for years, literally. This is getting worse and it's going to get even more worse. More worse, sir? Anyway, okay. Um, it says here, since 1999, the company says it has served more than 30, 33 million customers, a figure that is, is a function of its 17-year relationship with Walmart and TurboTax, which partners with the bank to help customers claim their tax refunds. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. On August 10th, Ransom, who works for an ambulance service, tried to use his card to pay tithes to his church, but was declined. He then used, he tried to use the card for another payment and was declined again. He called Green Dot Customer Service and said he was told there was a maintenance issue that would need to be resolved. By August 14th, the issue still hadn't been fixed. By the grace of God, Ransom said, a fellow church member offered to help pay for school clothes for Ransom's three children. It's really put a damper on our day-to-day -day lives, Ransom said, while still locked out of his account. This is exactly why I tell you to have multiple bank accounts. Split your money up into multiples. When this thing goes down someday, and it will, I'm telling you what, there will be a day where the banking system completely goes into a collapse mode. And I honestly believe that's by design. And there will be the sun will come out tomorrow kind of situation. But until then, it will seem like you are in total panic mode. The world's coming apart. And, and you can simply navigate through this by having multiple banks, all right? They don't all go down at once. It says it was ultimately not until August 19th, Ransom said, that he could regain access to his account. Other Green Dog customers said their funds had been recently waylaid by the bank for one reason or another. The complaints have increased to such an extent that the Better Business Bureau said in a statement that it was looking into a pattern of influx of complaints against Green Dot, which it was receiving and which required the agency to update Green Dot's listing on its website. In addition to Ransom, NBC spoke with six other customers who said they had problems gaining access to their accounts or receiving their money. Five said they were told by Green Dot customer service representatives that a maintenance or technical issue was making their accounts unavailable. Two others were informed that suspicious or fraudulent activity had been detected on the bank and the bank would have to freeze their accounts. One customer remains frozen out of her account. The status is of another is unclear. Let me ask you real quick. I'm just curious. Uh, type the number five if you are a Green Dot customer. I'm just curious right now with everybody. There's like 1,300 people in there. Just curious if we have any uh, Green Dot customers here. Type five when you can. Now, check this out. It goes on. There's a lot of information about what's happening here. Inaccessible funds and mixed messages. NBC... Uh, news first reported on other issues that customers were facing on August 11th. The day before, on August 10th, the message on Green Dot's homepage started, stated that the bank was experiencing, okay, we got some people in here that are uh, fives. Real quick, sorry. If you've had any issues with this bank, let me know down below. Uh, it says the day before, on August 10th, a message on Green Dot's homepage stated that the bank was experiencing high call volumes because of an issue with one of our processing partners. So that's sweet. They're pushing it off on someone else. Adding that some functionality, including balances and transactions, may have been impacted. <laughs> After an inquiry from NBC News, thank you, Patricia, for uh, the super chat. After... After an in inquiry from NBC News, Green Dot spokesperson Allison Lubert said in an email that there had been no system platform outage. The message on the website was subsequently updated and no longer mentioned a functionality issue. Instead, Lubert said the bank was in the process of upgrading its platforms. Doing so, she said, required temporary service interruptions for small segments of customers. Look, so far... I'm seeing smoke, and you know what happens when you see smoke? There's usually fire. I don't know anything about that stuff, though, I've been told. Crazy. Um, on August 23rd, it goes further. Lubert 
reiterated in an emailed statement that recent tech conversions at the green dot caused temporary outages for very small segments of its customers, but these have been resolved and the customers whom the bank confirmed have been affected were issued uh, courtesy credits. The initial message regarded a problem with a processing partner was outdated. Walmart did not respond to a request for a comment. A spokesperson for TurboTax parent uh, into it said in an emailed statement that the company works closely with customers, banking partners, and the IRS to help uh, resolve qu issues quickly. How's that? How's that? Hey, we really work hard to resolve issues. It's like, well, can you resolve the issue? No. Great. Uh, so I, I think that we're going to see more and more of this. Um, for more than two weeks, these problems have been persisting, they're saying, and it's going to get more and more interesting. One person here says, needless to say, I'm pulling my funds out as fast as I can. Uh, and I was looking through the comments and people are saying that, uh, yes, I've had more issues with Green Dot. I wanted to put this video out because even if Green Dot is a small bank, right? Although it's serviced like 33 million, 33, that's an interesting number. Huh, can't make this stuff up. 33 million Americans. There's other bigger banks and there are bigger banks with problems. And I believe what you're seeing is you're seeing the small banks come out with their problems at first. I believe this is a controlled demolition because again, over 700 banks went to the Fed last September and told them that they were essentially insolvent, that they could not keep uh, going, moving forward in, as a normal business. And so the bank has uh, had to give them emergency swap lines essentially through their repurchase window uh, ever since. We are in a straight up banking crisis. This is quite exciting because unlike 2007, 2008, I didn't get to see this ahead of time. I knew that there were troubles. I heard the rumors. I saw what happened with Bear Stearns, but the internet wasn't at a point where it was so evolved where people could jump on chat forums and online and, and give real time updates. Hey, here's a screenshot, a picture of my ATM saying, you have no access to funds, you're limited on money. Um, people sharing letters saying, hey, you know, the bank wants you to come in and sign this document saying that uh, uh, you know, you're not gonna sue us in a class action suit. It's like, well, why, <laughs> what? And uh, so there's so much more access to information right now that this bank collapse is, is right in front of you it's, it's like bright as day. Um, I, I would be getting ready. I think these are crazy times and I think they're gonna get crazier going into the end of September. We're gonna have fireworks flying, people. I'm so excited. Hey, I'm gonna put a link down to the Silver Symposium in the comment section below. If you guys wanna come to see uh, all these awesome speakers come and speak about not only silver and Bitcoin sound money, but uh, really how to get ready for these things. We'll be down in Las Vegas in, what, September 30th. So you can take a look at the website and you can look at all the speakers. All right, with that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.